In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform the t-test paired to sample for means analysis tool. This tool computes a t-value between means for two dependent measures on the same individuals or set of cases. This is also known as a paired or dependent samples t-test. So in this case, I have data for a group of individuals that received a treatment uh, to reduce stress level and the outcome is measured using systolic blood pressure. So we measured systolic blood pressure before they received the stress reduction treatment and then measured their blood pressure after they received the treatment. So that it is the same individuals that are being measured twice before and after a treatment. So in order to do this analysis we first need to go to the data tab and then select the data analysis option. And then in our menu here, we want to find the t-test paired to sample for means. Highlight that and then click OK. So we first want to enter in variable number one range, and this is typically going to be the first measurement that was conducted, in this case the pretreatment measure. So we want to highlight those data cells and either click enter or the ref edit button. And then we do that for the second variable range which in this case is the post-treatment data, again on systolic blood pressure. So we either click enter or the ref edit button again. Uh, we want to make sure we click the box called labels and that will again differentiate our variables for us as either pre or post-treatment outcomes. Uh, we then need to choose our alpha level. Uh, in this case we're going to test the no hypothesis at the p less than 0.05 level, so we'll keep that as 0.05. You can change that depending on the uh, stringency of how you want to test your hypothesis. And we're going to use a null hypothesis, so we're going to assume that the mean difference is going to be zero, so we can leave that, that box blank. I then need to indicate where on the spreadsheet I want my output to be placed. So in this case, we're going to use uh, the F2 and that the output table will be placed there. So click, click the ref edit button there. Oops. There we go. Okay, and now we're ready to go. And we can go ahead and click OK. <clears throat> okay, once we've clicked OK, we can see our output table here. And again, we can spread this out so we can see this a little bit better as far as what goes in each column. So the first thing we can look at here are the means for each of our two groups. So the mean blood pressure for pretreatment was 134 millimeters of mercury uh, and the post-treatment was 128. And we can see the variance here. Now the T actual T statistic that was produced for this difference is 2.83 and we can see if we were testing at a two-tailed uh, test the critical value uh, would be 2.03 if we're doing a one tail test it would be 1.68 in this case we've exceeded both of those critical values we have a value of 2.83 and that's borne out by our p-values which we can see here and we can see here both of these values 0.003 and 0.07 are less than 0.05 so we'd be able to reject the null hypothesis and say there is a significant difference between the pre and post treatment values and it indicates that our intervention or our treatment was effective in lowering blood pressure at a statistically significant level. So we'd be able to reject that null hypothesis and say that there is a difference. So hopefully you've learned something from this video and good luck using this technique on your own.